Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to give a user pseudo access on Ubuntu. So if that's something you wanna learn how to do, let's get on into the tutorial here. And I am logged in as a user that I want to give pseudo access. His name is Udoms, and let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to switch users to the root users. We can do that with su dash and type in the root password. And now you can see we are uh, logged in as root at server. So let's go ahead and give this user pseudo access. And the way we do that is we basically just add the user to the pseudo group. So we can do that with user mod dash a g for append to the group. And then uh, we're gonna append the user to the pseudo group and the user gonna give them the name of that user udom. So that was a little confusing. What we're doing is we're modifying this user. We're appending to the group sudo. So after we execute this command, we can actually see that uh, with the group's udoms, we can see that the udoms user is now part of his own group and the sudo group. So let's go ahead and exit out of the root session here. We are now back and we are the udoms user again. And if we try to use our privileges, our sudo privileges, like sudo who am I? Um, and I spelled that wrong, who, yeah, let's try that again. Sudo who, who am I? Um, and if we try to, try to type our password here, we will see, I, I did type the password correctly, but it just says that this user is not in the sudo or file, this incident when we report it. Um, and all we have to do here is basically log out and log back in for those changes to take effect. So let's go ahead and get out of our SSH session, come back in, I'll type the password. And now if we try to um, execute that same command, sudo who am I, it should work. And we'll type in the password. And now you'll see that uh, that works and we have those root privileges. So let's go ahead and try it again. Let's do an ls, the home directory that we're in. That works because we are obviously that user. What if we try to ls the root directory? It's gonna say it can't open that, permission denied, but we can use our new privileges, our pseudo privileges to do the ls on the root directory. And because we don't see the error, but because there's nothing in that directory, uh, we don't get any output. So um, that's about it for this video. I got plenty of other videos over here about working with users on Ubuntu, adding users, giving them um, SSH access, taking SSH access away from the root user. So if you wanna learn how to do that, check out some of those videos. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.